Well, hey guys, it's been a minute since I've been out here working. <clears throat> a lot has gone on the last couple weeks, so really kind of threw me off. Um, biggest piece of which, my shop was robbed of a lot of tools. So dealing with the police, insurance, and all that jazz, and trying to get things put back together has been a process. Um, my grandpa's old wood router, my grandpa's old soldering iron, a number of my pneumatic tools, one or two of my battery powered tools, but yeah, just picked through everything. Stuff was all over the place. Um, just trying to put things back together, get a list of what was lost. So I get insurance to do their thing and take care of things so I could put this place back together a little bit. Um, I had actually just bought a new toolbox the day before I got robbed. So they didn't take that though, which is nice. But it's been a process and because of all that, she hasn't really changed. She's just been sitting there but I still have the wheels and tires. Tires are still in here. The wheels I started painting, but never finished because all my um, die grinders got stolen, so I couldn't finish getting paint and rust and crust off of them. And that was, you know, next step on the project. They stole the generator I just got done putting back together. That one hurt. That was gonna be my new everyday generator well when i need it generator and yeah just been a real punch in the gut but insurance did its thing i replaced the majority of things i'm still waiting on oh they stole my camera because it was out here because this is where i do all my recording so they stole my camera too so right now, just doing everything on the phone. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. I'm um, working on putting it back together in the next week or two. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm hoping to have another video out this week for it, but just kind of a, hey, why, uh, why didn't we get the next part on that video? What's going on with that mower? What are we doing? I'm working on it. It's coming. She'll be coming along pretty soon, but just uh, had other stuff come up and took priority and really sucked. But we're past it. That's all I got for today. I just wanted to give you guys that update because I've been pretty upset that I haven't been out here working. I want to get this thing done and see it back together, running, driving, all that jazz. and Well... That's all I got for today, so we'll talk at you later. Well, good evening, guys. <clears throat> We're finally gonna get back in on this thing a little bit. So, kinda wanna straighten this stuff out a little bit. This one's not too bad. It needs a little bit of welding. I think up here in this corner. I think there was one other spot it needed a little bit of love. Oh, yeah, this corner right over here. So we'll have to straighten that out a little bit. So I'll get a smaller crescent and we'll try to clamp onto that and bend that back out a little bit. But I knew what I wanted and I didn't have it, so we'll make do with what we have available. I'm going to try to get this cleaned up and maybe go ahead and do a little bit of welding on the corners that are cracked, like back there a little bit right up there <clears throat> see if there's anywhere else that needs a little bit to touch up but try to get it straight as well this one's gonna need a lot of hammering it's had a rough life but that can be fixed but we'll get this straightened up a little bit a little bit closer to where it needs to be and we'll see what we can do with everything
the collar. Good enough for tonight. It's a little uh, hazy in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and prop the door for a bit. Let it air out, let it circulate tonight. And tomorrow we'll uh, come back to this. Yeah, so clear skies. A little foggy. A little foggy. But let's go over, kind of show you what I did do, which pieces I took care of. Let's see, we got weld right up in here. That's where the. Uh, bagger would be connecting or just where the discharge is but I guess we'll come around to this side these are going to look better once I clean them up with the flap disc once I paint them hopefully we won't even notice where they are uh, let's go ahead and flip this dude over and look the other sides uh, this is one of the corners that was coming apart it's just from the inside. The inside weld's gonna be ugly. Same for this guy. It's the one I couldn't see and couldn't really get the gun up in there because of the, um, I guess the mulching insert for the deck would be the best way to describe that. The side's been structurally reinforced as well as this corner as well. So tonight, that's pretty much it for it. I'm going to start in on cleaning that stuff up tomorrow, get the deck ready, probably hit it with some paint, take the all that hardware off, give it a good wire wheel, hit it with some paint, and we'll let this part be taken care of. Once I'm done with that, put those spindles back in there spindles that'd be amazing let's get this thing a little bit closer to done right feels good to be back on it and doing a little bit we'll see uh, what tomorrow brings but hopefully I can at least finish this piece up and maybe finish the wheels up now that I have my placement die grinder Z. so We'll work on getting those cleaned up, painted, and then getting those uh, tubes mounted. Or not tubes, uh, tires. Yeah, real tires. Alright guys. Be it for tonight. I'll bring you back when I get back on it. Alright guys, we're out here set up. Got the wire wheel flat disc and we're going to get this thing cleaned up ready to go got the hardware off of it so not really worried about this stuff because i don't even have a discharge for it so we're going to do what we got to do we're going to get in on it so i'm going to try this time lapse photography on the phone we'll see how that does because uh the full length videos are way too large I think last night was over two gigs for like an hour of recording. And sorry, neighbors are mowing. It's a, it's a good day. Well, <clears throat> while cleaning this up, I found another spot that I'm going to need to weld. You can see right around here, it is cracking out, so you can't quite see the light behind it. There's light back there, so I'll hit that up while I'm out here. I'll probably go ahead and hit that one because it's starting to look about the same. 
see if I can get some penetration around it and just kind of reinforce it. It doesn't look super thick, but it doesn't look bad. It's not flimsy. But yeah, this is that spot I was talking about last night where it looks like it was a seam put into it. I don't know if that's just from when it was fabricated or what, but it's there. It looks pretty solid, so I'm not going to mess with it. This one cleaned up okay. I didn't grind off quite as much as I could have. I could have built up a little bit more, but it is what it is. This one back here looks almost factory. I didn't do horrible with this one. But uh, I don't claim to be a welder. I'm just a uh, makeshift farm welder. That's what we'll call it. <coughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get to uh, the welder out and patch those up and go from there. I might just hit these a little bit more on this too. Both of them look right. They only welded the back side of them. They didn't weld the front side. Probably do that just for fun. <coughs> and then it might just be time to go ahead and throw some paint on this stuff and see what happens. I guess I got the topper to uh, clean the, the rust and debris off of. Yeah, you can see on here a couple different colors of red. I don't know if that was a primer base because it had kind of like a gray blue on it. This uh, color right here. And then it went to that bright red. But it was that dull, dull red on top of everything. So apparently a couple different colors. But yeah. I just want to touch those up before I uh, do the finishing paint because I uh, don't want to do that. And then... Uh, paint back over a weld. So. guys <clears throat> first run with the new camera we're gonna see what it does for us hopefully it doesn't fall off but I got a couple coats on these the other day they're not not perfect by any means but they've got a good layer on them <clears throat> I've got one more I ran out of paint the other day, so I went and grabbed a little bit more. I have a couple more cans of the cheap stuff. I just want to get a nice layer of the cheap on there. And then I'm going to hit it with one coat of like the high quality stuff as like the final coat. And we'll just see how that stuff looks. I just want to make sure I get a good layer on here to help protect it, keep it from rusting and crapping away. And I think it looks a lot better than it did. It's still not perfect by any means. Sorry, the shadows here are going to be a little rough today, but we're going to make it work. I'm also going to try to get the tires done in the next day or two, so we'll do a little bit of that as well. But I'll bounce you over there when I go to work on those. So, so yeah, we're going to get to it.
take a gander at these. Get a little bit up close action, see what you can see. Sunshine helps the color, but it's not quite there. Let's come over here. And the sunshine drowns that one out, but still a couple spots where it's not as great a coverage. Different layers of red had come off underneath, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely going to look a heck of a lot better when we're done. So that's where those are at. I'm going to get everything ready and we're going to start cleaning up the wheels and get those painted up and finished today, too. All right, we're going to see uh, what y'all can see when I'm trying to do these wheels. <clears throat> Biggest thing that was a struggle is trying to get up around the inside of the hub, so. Let's see if this thing helps out, makes that a little bit easier. This is that pulley that has the teeth that aren't all, uh, what did I say, smooshed over. So these ones are well-defined teeth, those are the smooshed ones. So it is the same diameter. So everything else looks good. We're going to clean up the grooves with this. We'll go back to that one to try to clean off the surface area. But just wanted knock this out while I was here, so. This is probably gonna be my biggest, uh, probably don't wanna show you guys, but you can see this one right here. Just got a little bit of daylight through, let's see. She's got a little bit of daylight through her. Now these are stacked pulleys where they're stacked up together like this on the wheels. The hubs, they have little spacers they get bolted on right there. And this is the drive pulleys for it. So it's going to have a double belt on it no matter what. So I'm debating just leaving it where this is an outer edge where the belt's not gonna have as much contact with it because it's mainly worried about these two inner ones. We'll see what it looks like once I clean it up and see how bad it really is, but.
Well, let's go ahead and look at this guy. This guy's gonna get ready to get cleaned up, get a paint job. I think I'm gonna send all these back black to give that contrast on the mower. I also think they were originally black and then painted over with all that red crap paint they were using. These are gonna get cleaned up, painted all black. We're gonna do the same thing here. Um, let's see, where's that bad one at? It is this one right here. So there's a little more than we anticipated. But again, it's only the one side of it. So that outside ring, kinda rough, but the inside, no holes, nothing missing, and it's pretty intact on the inside, so like I said, we'll make this the outside of it because the belt's going to be V'd up like this, and it's mainly going to be grabbing on these in interior two. So that'll be the hope and the desire. But we'll get all those done up. I'm going to get the hubs painted up here. So I already got this one side of them done. This is where the pulleys go. But I want to get this side painted up on them. Get this cleaned up. Probably hit them with some brake clean just to get any kind of oil and residue off. And then tape them up so I don't get a bunch inside the uh, bearings. Yeah. We'll adjust it as we go. So that's where we're at right now. actually look kind of decent. I'm not worrying about the valve stems because I'm going to replace those. But I taped up the bearings, hit everything with brake clean to get any kind of oil or grease that was still on there off. Just going to go through and give them a coat or coat and a half of paint, you know, whatever. that for those we'll let those uh, dry and see what they look like tomorrow I think I'm gonna get all this stuff finished coats tonight let it dry overnight tomorrow we'll put the deck back together and try to put the wheels on all right so for the underside well for the whole thing I've done multiple coats of that cheap stuff the, the Lowe's brand paint but for the final top coat I'm gonna do this Krylon gloss red pepper no peel paint and primer combo so I'm gonna do one really good coat around the top of this with this color and see how it covers and see how that color looks. I think it's going to be a little bit different. Not horribly different, but maybe just a hair brighter.
and we'll let everything sit overnight and tomorrow we'll go to putting things back together. Welcome back. It looks like we got some rain last night. Rinsed everything off for us, but these things look pretty dang good. If you look close, you can kind of see where some of the paint's a little bit thinner than the rest, but I think they look pretty dang good. Almost ready to put back together. We're on the cell phone today. The camera was yesterday. We'll probably bounce back and forth. But uh, here's that one that's got the, the suspect areas. But all in all, they look pretty good. Like this one's got a little bit as well. I may have bent it a little bit at one point, you know. It is what it is. We'll, we'll make her work. Those ready. Got the wheels ready to go. And since I'm basically ready to put it all back together, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all the little hardware. And you know, these need to be black because they're going in the spindle bearing. This all needs to be red. This needs to get cleaned up. I just got the uh, tensioner pulley off of it. I'm gonna get that cleaned up and painted. I got the new tensioner pulley that we're gonna throw in there. Sophie's out here to get somebody. I didn't even see anybody. Who's, who's out here? She's gonna find them. But yeah, that's today is getting the hardware ready so we can throw this stuff back together. Um, we'll have a nice, clean, sparkling deck, new bearings. All ready to go. Then uh, we'll just have to do something with the frame because it's not as clean and spicy and ready to go. But I can unbolt it from the chassis there after a bit and do some work on it. It'll be a slow process to do all complete, but I think it'll be really cool to get it done. I think it'll turn out looking real, real snazzy muffler. I actually have some paint from when I did uh, my stove. Some high temperature black paint so we can clean off the rust and hit that with some black. That'll look good. But yeah, we're going to get into it. Try to get the hardware done so it can dry and then uh, I got the spindles over there. I probably want to get this hardware cleaned up too. At least the nuts. Eh. All of it, why not? There's the new spindle tensioner pulley thing. The new carbs in there for the motor. Just little pieces we're working on. All right, well, let's put it in fast mode. First off is these bad boys. I'm gonna have to go through some pictures and remember where everything went. I guess I still need to clean some of this stuff up. We'll worry about that later. Should have done that before it rained today. But let's get these on there. Let's go ahead and get the uh, spindles installed, which are way over there somewhere. I'll have to grab those, but uh, first thing first, we need to get the bearing spindle assemblies in there anyway, so grab all this hardware and get started on it. You remember, one side had gouge marks from when I was taking it out, and it was hammering on there, so we're going to make sure that side is down so that the 
top side is nice and clean. It has a good square on it. Hopefully it bites into those real good. it but it's just coming straight out the bottom because it needs the uh, blade in there just coming right out big old blob of goo all right well she's in Got the belt on it, got both pulleys on it. Everything spins, they're not free flowing. I 
some run time and uh, get the blade on it so we can actually pump her full of grease like she's supposed to be. But it's progress. So where did that hook go? It's the hook. She's got to go right her. It'll be for the spring for the tensioner. Alrighty then, well, top's on, all the bolts are in it, it's sturdy, like it never was before. It's pretty flat back there, you can still see a little ripple if you get close to it. It's got all those. <sighs> Biggest thing is I need to get the blades ready to install so we can properly grease these guys see how they spin because they're a little squeaky right now and I don't know if that's just because grease hasn't fully been pushed all the way through the system so I guess I need to clean these guys up get them ready to go don't know if that's going to be a nice thing but probably what's going to be next on the deck itself is getting these guys cleaned up and ready to go. They need a new uh, edge put on them. I'll probably clean them up and give them a quick spray paint just so they match everything else. But got to have these in there. Otherwise, when you pump it with grease, it just comes right out the bottom end of it. So those are on the agenda. I'll set this to the side, and then we're going to try to... Uh, Put these tires on these rims. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Paint's far from perfect, but doesn't do too bad. It's heavier duty. It can always be touched up. little pole and pops right in. Not too bad at all. So that's the front side. So we're going to try to do all the tire work from the back side because I don't want to mess up the front any more than I got to. When we get done, these guys are going to go back here anyway. So that back side will be hidden. I just want to get the wheels on there. Boy, my favorite thing to do, tires. All right. Yeah, yeah, one more up 
going over? Is this going to be it? Um, guys I was just working on editing the video and realized I didn't have a really good ending or summation of the video or an outro really put together so what we're gonna do since kind of need just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead I got the blades here I got them cleaned up gave them a good coat of paint the underside is the nicer paint because that's what people will see the top's painted, but you know, I have a part number if anybody needs these, the high lift blades, but uh, it's not a bad edge on them, but we're going to go ahead and clean them up. It looks like the company that was using it was keeping up with it, so, but we're going to clean them up, put a new edge on them. I found torque specs for the spindles, so we're going to properly torque those. We're going to throw the blades in there. And then we're going to give them a grease and see how they sound after that. See if it's still squeaky. See how smooth it runs. Because I, I don't know if I over torqued them or if they're just sticky from the uh, seals or you know, if there's something else going on. But I want to make sure the spindles are lubed up before I go to any other crazy extremes. But I think that's going to be all it is. is they just need some lube up there around the uh, seals and such. Probably, I guess, should have been something I did when I installed them. But Hey, you live and you learn, right? But we're going to get the bearings uh, torqued properly. We're going to get the blade sharpened, get them on there, and then get the whole bearings um, greased properly. And I just wanted to make sure I actually had a video of the uh, two or tires afterwards. I uh, realized after doing all the video, putting the uh, tires on the rims, that uh, you could see about, I don't know, an inch of the tread while I was working on them and you just saw me struggling. So I cut almost all of that out. Uh, one day I'll be a videographer and be able to tell where I'm at. Anyways, I'm going to put it in fast mode, let you guys watch me knock this out real quick, and then I'll do a quick little outro on everything, and what's next for the next week or two, or the next video. I'm not going to put a time frame on it, because work's been hectic, man. It's been hectic, so. Alright, we'll put her in fast mode and get on this.
heated the bearings, making sure there was grease on the seal and that little uh, space that rides at the base of it. They are retorqued to their 100 foot pounds as per the manual from 1987 that I could find. No idea if that's accurate or 100%, but. belt on. And we're going to see if we can spin these as they are. Right now, a little spin. Takes a little bit. That one's not too bad. But, you know, overall, I've had better and I've had worse. So. My crappy drill can even spin them. skeptical of the uh, torque spec it said. That just seems ridiculous. <laughs> throw this back together real quick like you're not even gonna see it all right guys redid the bearings because apparently I didn't grease them right and one of them I had a piece in there that apparently shouldn't have been it's like a little spacer it was on the pulley from the other one I pulled out so I assumed it was supposed to be on that one but uh I guess that's not the case but they spin they're not free. Just take a little bit of torque, but they'll spin and they'll spin good. But uh, wheels painted, tires on, deck redone, spindles in, blade sharpened, everything greased and ready to go. So that just needs slid into place. And next, we'll start working on this thing. I think next week's going to be um, motor. I want to get the motor running right. I know it's a pain to put the wheels on, take the wheels off, so it might sit like this a little bit longer, but I want to get the motor done, make sure it's good to go and it's not all clapped out everywhere. I think the biggest issues are in the carburetor and the fuel supply. But We'll find out when we get into it. But uh, I think it would be good to get the motor done right. Make sure the throttle works. I know the PTO works. Just need to make sure everything's wired correctly so it works every time. All the time. You know what I mean? But 
wanted to say thanks for everybody for hanging out, watching. Sorry this video was a ton of uh, time lapse, but there was a lot that got done, but there wasn't a lot of interesting commentary on it. So I didn't want to make you guys listen to me huff and puff and moan and groan and struggle with it, especially with the tires, because I really hate tires. But they're done, so that's the important part. And next week it'll be on to this. I wanna get the motor running. Probably wanna get the front frame off and painted cause that'll be pretty quick and easy. I'll have to take the front wheels off. I'll probably give them a brushing and a painting as well, but it's coming along. It's making progress. And uh, next week if we get the motor running right and get the front end done. I think the uh, back end will be a pretty quick uh, process, so. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching, hanging out. I appreciate it. Joining along and watching while we uh, tinker on stuff and try to bring some old stuff back to life. So again, thanks. We'll catch you on the next one.